Hey everybody, Srini here from Unmistakable Creative, and today I want to talk about how to outline an article in MEM. So MEM is actually a really great tool when you're dealing with you know a bunch of different knowledge and a bunch of different sources, and it actually makes it really easy to outline articles. If you've used any other tools like Notion or any of the other note-taking tools, you're constantly doing things like cutting and pasting, trying to find relevant resources and all of that, so it can actually become quite time-consuming. But the nice thing is that in MEM, all of this stuff becomes much more accessible because it's right at your fingertips. The first thing that you want to do is you want to gather your sources. And that could be podcasts, that could be books, that could be conversations that you've had with somebody, articles that you've read on the internet, research studies, whatever it is. And then you want to tag the MEM with the relevant category. So in this case, you know, we're going to go in and, and see how you do this for an article about managing your attention. And then you're going to pull the information from different sources. So let's start with the first piece, which is to gather the sources and tag them with the categories. So in this case, my primary resource is my book notes. Because we're writing an article about attention, I'm going to just tag it with attention. And you'll see here that anything that is tagged uh, with attention all of my various books that are related to attention actually come up. And that's where we get into pulling the information that you want from your sources. One option is to look at this and basically use the sidebar, which is great too, because you can just go through and you can cut and paste things that you need. The other option is to pull all of this information up in Mem Spotlight based on certain keywords. I'll show you how you can do both. So the sidebar is obvious. You just open it by tagging with the relevant topics. We could add productivity here than anything you know, related to productivity would show up here. So you can see here that I have Greg McEwen's book, Essentialism, and it shows up because I actually tagged it with a topic of attention. So now let's get into how we would outline an article on attention management. Because we've tagged all of this with attention here, you'll see any resources that I need are right there. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to search Mem Spotlight for anything that I have related to distractions. So if I type in the word distractions, because I've been writing a lot about this, anything that I've written about this will also show up. I can see all of my stuff on distractions. So some of this is not pulling my book notes, but there's one nugget that I remember from Adam Gazzali's book, The Distracted Mind. So I'm going to put that there. I can either copy and paste it, or I can just press enter and you'll see here that it actually shows up there. So now I've got something related to <clears throat> distractions. Another thing I want to do is see what kinds of insights I have in Cal Newport's book. So like I said before, I can go to the sidebar and he talks about shallow work. So we can grab that and put that here as well. So what you're doing here is you're just basically gathering all the various things that you want to reference in the article that you're writing. So we're going to go ahead and put that there. I'm sorry, it looks like it copied and pasted the wrong thing. So let's go ahead and copy this little nugget on shallow work, which is also a form of distraction. So we're basically curating all of the various resources. And right now, because MEM doesn't have uh, the ability to do uh, block references, which I believe is in the cards soon, this is what we have to do just to get around it. And the workaround really is to just get more granular when you're typing what you're looking for into MEM Spotlight. So in this case, we have the book deep work here. Now we can get deep work here in one of two ways, but there's a couple of things that I want to do. So we know what the definition is of deep work. So let's go ahead and grab that. So that way we can define it for the purposes of this article. The other thing is I know there's something called deep work philosophies where Cal Newport goes into the deep work philosophies here. You can see here, I have all the various philosophies. So I want to go ahead and grab that too. And you can see here that it'll actually give me all that information just by searching through MEM Spotlight. So the last topic that I want to cover in this article is flow. And there are a couple of different ways that I can do this. Now, I know which resources in my database are about flow, and I could actually just search for the word flow by using MEM Spotlight like this. And you'll see that anything that is tagged, like mentions the word flow shows up here. But I could also just tag this article outline with the word flow. And then you'll see here that the books that I have that are tagged with flow actually show up. Now I know the book that I want to reference here is Stephen Collar's book, The Art of Impossible. And what I want to actually pull from here is what he calls the flow triggers, which are a little bit further down. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that it will pull everything under the header if you use Mem Spotlight. So I could actually put another header here and call this the end of flow triggers. 
or something like that. So that way, when I use Mem Spotlight to pull what I call the flow trigger, or what Stephen Kotler calls the flow triggers, then I'm only going to get the stuff that falls under flow triggers and then nothing from underneath where we had clear goals. And so now we have all of the various information that we want to pull into this article and we've used either mem spotlight or the sidebar to pull information from all these different sources. The only thing that I, I haven't quite figured out how to do is to maintain a tag for the original source. And I think that's because there's no block references yet, as I mentioned earlier, inside of mem. But once they have that, then you'll be able to actually note the original source. So probably what you want to do is just note the original source. And you could just call this, for example, distracted mind. And so that way you remember where it's from. So now we've got all of the information that we need to uh, write the article. So we have basically the topics that we want to cover, the information from the sources that we want to use, and then we can go ahead and, to, and get started writing the article. So this is a basic overview of how to outline uh, an article or a blog post or anything else in MEM.